Yo, what's up, world? It's your man Slim Jim Longfoot, aka the GOAT, King of America. Welcome to day 12, 14 of Diabetes and Not. The daily vlog series that I do to show you how to combat this type 2 diabetes with the 1 2, you feel me? Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up on all things Slim Jim Longfoot, such as my product reviews, my how to videos for YouTubers, my TV and movie reviews, my reactions, my video clips, my live streams, my daily vlogs that you're watching right now, and last but not least, my art video series, GOAT1408 TV. Uh, shout outs to the members of the live chat crew. Most notable members include uh, Evie Gavala, the Greek Goddess, Sexy Trees 1408, Queen Candace, Michael Marshall, Life's magical journey. Wellness with Frugal Mama. And last but not least, my sis, the big sis of YouTube, Latanya Porter. Special consideration to my bro, Johnny Coy's Gaming, who co hosts in their strip club with me. You ain't checked that out channel yet. What you waking on? What you waking on? What you waking on? Hey, let's get my bro. I need y'all to help me get my bro up to 100 uh, subscribers on his channel. He's currently at 91 subscribers, so let's get him up there, y'all. Straight up like that. Also, shout outs to the members of the 1408, which includes um, Kid Wonders Life of Wonder, um, Gaming Mode, Advice with Mel, Elevate with Vern, Blackjack 939, Crow Loner, and last but not least, Eat to Live Strong. If you yourself forgot to be a member of the 14 you're going to have to wait for a minute until we get back monetized here on the channel. So until the end, in between times, yo, if y'all truly want to help support Slim Jim Long for the naughty endeavors here on the channel, please check out the links in my description below, which includes uh, the links to um, the books I've written, the books I've drawn, the merchandise that I have, and last but not least, my sister's cash app on behalf of my awesome niece Paris who was shot on the 2nd of February last year in 2022 hashtag Paris strong hashtag prayers for Paris whether that's F-O-R or the number four for those who have been sending your well wishes and prayers and everything else in between I appreciate y'all over the course of these past um, 513 days since that incident occurred I appreciate that so very much uh, meantime, between times, I hope everybody's having the most great day. It is Friday, Friday. It is the last day of June 2023, June the 30th, 2023. For those who, of course, have read my book before, Getting Some Pookie to Read Mints. Well, Getting Some Pookie, that's the name of the story. But uh, you can get the... Um, book getting some pookie the remix uh it is available on amazon.com shout out to miss just chrissy who got it uh the other day and will be reviewing it soon um for, uh, i first published that book back in 2010 and the story takes place actually on this date um the in the book that takes place on this date june the 30th don't know why I, well, no i actually do know why i picked it i pick i picked that date uh, for those that don't know a little trivia for you i picked that date in the book because it was the summer well first and foremost summer of 1996 which was a big uh time here in my city the city of atlanta georgia you know because that was the year the olympics came to atlanta and also um I thought that was an interesting time. I thought that was probably the peak time for the city of Atlanta during that time. You know, but years before 2003, which was 20 years ago, you know, which is basically like the year of crunk to the rest of the world. But crunk really started around 96. It's where it became popular as far as that go in that year in the city of Atlanta. You know, uh, excuse me, I'm up here uh, twisting my 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 beard you know what i'm saying got got my little twist i ain't did this since like last year see i'm like hey that mother, that mother down there boy that mother down there. if i had straight hair you my beard be down now you see all see that that's crazy but anyway but um well yeah that was that was a peak year in the city during that time you know shout outs to all the people from the era who ain't ashamed of their time in the era whether you was at freak nick or not you know what i'm saying don't be ashamed of what you were doing back then unless you were doing some grimy stuff you know what i mean but uh, anyway outside of that i thought that was a, a great year to um do um the place the story in and the sequel the sequel um even though the sequel was written in 2010 well, b both the books were written in 2010. Getting Some Pookie was written in 2010, as well as um, the sequel, Hotter Than Fire, Wugger Than Water. Both of them were written the same year. And um, so, with that being said, I wanted 
the sequel to take place in 2009 because of course at that time I wasn't yet ready to you know have you know write a story in the world without Michael Jackson you know who of course had died in 2009 so I wasn't ready to write a world where you know Michael Jackson was dead you feel me so that wasn't what I was you know wanting to do at that time so but of course you know so much has happened since you know 2010 so you know world world like that is ready to be you know written in you know written in fiction you know not just uh in my um urban novella worlds but also in my you know everyday worlds as well even though jelly bean dream the first issue of jelly bean dream doesn't take place after 2009 so you know what i'm saying but you will of course be seeing stories you know after 2009 as well like Dreamcatcher takes place after 2009 it takes place in uh excuse me 2014 that's what year that takes place in so with that being said um for those who you know enjoy comic books enjoy you know you know fiction or whatnot period you know i definitely will appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying if you can't buy the book you know what i'm saying sharing it out you know jelly bean dream is dropping this coming month in july of 2023 the summer of 2023 issue number one is dropping um the art is done by my bro johnny quest gaming i i'm on the writing tip of that so i hope that y'all you know what i'm saying enjoy this book when it come out it's not just the only jelly bean dream book coming out because like i said dream catcher i'm working on that as well so y'all get the hey we hey we got two books you know ugi studios which is you know my imprint we got two of those books dropping this summer baby so well, if Dreamcatcher don't drop this summer, it's definitely dropping by fall, possibly. So either way it go, they dropping this year. So I I can't wait, y'all. Y'all gonna understand. I'm right now waiting on the last bit of my extra art in Jelly Bean Dream issue number one so I can finalize the book. And once that has come to me, then you know what I'm saying? It's on and popping, baby. It's on and popping, yeah. <laughs> that part. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, once again, it's Friday, Friday. Um, I got me some chef salad over here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> that thing good, good. I'm just mad I ain't got no tomatoes in it. That's my one greatest ingredient that I'm missing out of my salad. I gotta get me some tomatoes today. I definitely got to. But what I'm also about to showcase real quick, I got this in the mail yesterday. And this right here is from my Blue Monster. Shout out to my Blue Monster, my awesome friend Carrie Blue Monster, who um, is a gamer. She, um, she, you can see her on Twitch. She also has a YouTube channel here as well. And she sent me this yesterday. I got it yesterday, and I didn't want to open it until I did my daily vlog today. I could have did a video yesterday and open it, but I wanted to do it today. So here we go. I'm about to open this thing up today, baby. Um, right now, it's currently um, 7.51 in the morning. I check my blood sugar um, three times a day. I've already checked my blood sugar this morning for my salad that I'm about to eat. And here we go. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see, baby. Boom. I got a card in here. Um, this is Renee Creations Custom Apparel and more. So this is the young lady who created these shirts. So shout outs to her. I'm going to shout her out right here. Brianna Diaz, Renee, uh, Renee's Creations at gmail.com. Um, and her Facebook is Renee Creations. So most definitely y'all go check her out. You dig? If y'all can see that real good. Um, if not, i say it again down below. But either way, go shout outs to Renee's Creations. Boom. Um, Hey, 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 part of that Blue Monster fan, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? If y'all go check her out on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? You be a part of her Blue Monster family, you feel me? Her Blue Monster squad. Boom, baby. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So you know your boy gonna be wearing that. You got your boy name on it, you feel me? Boom, you feel me? It says, Mean Monster Gaming, baby. Mean Monster Gaming. Look at that there. Look at that there. Hey. And it got the name on it, baby. Goat 1408, baby. You feel me? 
You know what I'm saying? And with the magic, you know what I'm saying? With with the sheer magic of of the goat nation, my nation of goats, how we manifest greatness. You know what I'm saying? We don't do it like this. We are gonna do it like this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it like this, and I'm gonna say. Ah, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Ah, you feel me? Ah, that part. We up in there, baby. We up in there, baby. You feel me? You feel me? Ah. Hey, that part. That part. That part, baby. We up in there, baby. We in there. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do a screenshot of this right here because I'm gonna put it on her Discord. Gonna be just like this on for me. I'm gonna be like, that part. Hey, we in there, baby. You feel me? You feel me? Fit good, fit nice. You know what I'm saying? Feeling strong, feeling monster side. <laughs> that part. Anywho, we up in here now, baby. Look at that. Percolating, baby, percolating. <laughs> Anywho, but yeah, shout outs to Blue Monster. Shout outs to Blue Monster. We up in there, baby. We up in there. You feel me? We up in there, making it do, making it do what it do. So, um, with that being said, we up in here, cooling it. Shout outs once again to Blue Monster. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? We making it do what it do, does what it does, and um. What else can I say? I appreciate so much the people that God have brought into my life. You know, those who I have met in person, those who I have uh, met over the years, you know, just being cool to death with them. You know what I'm saying? I, it is so appreciated. The uh, people who have come into my life whose lives have intersected with mine and, you know, whether they still here or not or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's a blessing on every level. You feel me? It's a blessing on every level and I'm so appreciative. Like on the back of my laptop, on the back of my laptop, I got two stickers of sociable up in this thing. You feel me? On the back of my laptop, shout out to my girl Angie Poo. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Life's Magical Journey who sent me this book right here, Create With Purpose. You feel me? So I'm, day, I'm, I'm reminded daily to, of course, create with purpose. You know what I'm saying? To manifest greatness, recognize the greatness within already. And you know what I'm saying? Keep on pushing on every level from that physical, from that spiritual, from that emotional, from that mental, from that financial. Those are the levels of greatness that we are bringing forth into our reality. You know what I'm saying? Making our dreams a reality to my bro, Johnny Quest Gaming. You know what I'm saying? Who got me this laptop right here nearly, I mean, not laptop, but this iPad nearly five years ago. Uh, Lady Capricorn, shout out to Lady Capricorn who got me this case right here. Who got me this case for my laptop. Um, Johnny Quest Gaming who got me this, uh, I say laptop, excuse me, my iPad, excuse me, my iPad, who got me this case for my iPad, Johnny Quest Gaming, who got this iPad for me almost five years ago, which is what jump started my, um, my, um, my, um, uh, y'all know the word I'm looking for, excuse me, um, my consistency my consistency on youtube by creating my goat 1408 tv series and doing my art videos on there on this channel so you know what i'm saying that's what jump started the consistency of doing those videos along with the other videos i was doing at the time before um going into this daily vlog series which i of course started on this ipad as well i did the first almost nearly 600 days on my ipad so um so that part you know it's definitely been a journey you know what i'm saying not just here on as a content creator here on youtube but as an artist as a writer over the course of this lifetime that started back in the 80s you know what i'm saying i'm forever 80s i don't care how many years in this deck in in this uh century i live i'm forever 80s and speaking of speaking of also that you know what i'm saying we take time to remember the oldest sibling um well the oldest sibling it was only three of them but you know she was the first born the first born out of three kids that was born to um the king family um reverend martin luther king and his wife um alberta um their daughter 
their oldest child, Christine King Ferris, Dr. Christine King Ferris, died yesterday at the age of 95. Um, she was the oldest of three siblings. Those other two siblings included the youngest sibling, A.B. King, and the middle child, which was um, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you know what I'm saying, civil rights icon. Um, Mrs. Ferris, uh, Dr. Ferris, she died yesterday. Um, once again, at the age of 95, I met her when I was 15 years old. Um, me, her, and my mom, we had the same doctor. And um, I was going in to get a checkup on how my chicken pox was uh, healing up because I had the chicken pox for a month from March the 15th to literally April the 15th of. 1996 uh, when I was 15 years old first time first and last time getting the chicken pox and so uh, when we was going to go get checked up to make sure that I was cleared up and ready to go back to school um, she was there in the waiting room with us my dad he knew um, Dr. Ferris when he was a child and um, he played with the King children he played with the four little kids and um, you know and I had a chance to talk to her for a little minute uh, while I was in the waiting room. You know, I didn't want to be like, oh my God, it's, it's Mark Luther King Jr. So, you know, I want not try to be all like that. You know, I, you know, come and talk to her and, and got her autograph. She gave me her autograph, which um, sadly um, might have got lost in my storage uh, that I lost back in 2017 her autograph and I had it for you for you for years for over over 20 years up until um, it being lost to me um, but um, she was she was you know just you know in that time that I met her you know that day as a teenager and all the years seeing her on TV you know watching the King Memorial services for the holidays on TV and even seeing she was there I saw her there you know on TV um, early this year in January because it comes on you know in January every MLK day and I was you know of course happy once again to see her because of course obviously you know that she's getting older and you know like she was knocking on a hundred years old and the fact that she was still here this long and you know you know is a, is a testament so she's now with her husband who died a few years back uh, Isaac uh, Isaac uh, Ferris, uh, excuse me, I almost said Harris because I know Isaac Harris. Um, he, um, I did uh, work for him in the early 2000s. I artwork for him in the early 2000s, but um, no, no, no relation or anything like that. But anyway, her husband's name was Isaac Ferris, and uh, she's now reunited with him along with her sister-in-law Coretta, who died back in 2006, and of course her brothers uh, Martin Ad Ad who drowned back in 1969 and of course with her parents um, who um, you know um, their dad who they used to call Daddy King he died back in the 80s and his wife was uh, killed at Ebenezer Church uh, in the 70s um, so um, so rest in peace to this uh, most amazing woman you know what I'm saying who has done as much as she possibly could to not just um, campaign and champion civil rights um, civil rights for us um, like her little brother did and everything everything afterwards you know after you know his you know assassination so it's, it's a trip when um, you know we get bombarded you know not bombarded but we get you know word words that we say and can't say now because they try, they try so much to restrict the truth on, you know, in quote unquote media, social media or media or whatever you call it. But anyways, you know, the truth will always set you free on every tip. And um, Dr. Ferris was definitely a champion of, of the truth and of justice and um, definitely appreciate, you know, the 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 life the life that you led and it will not be forgotten even though it's sad when I look on social media and I see people saying oh I didn't know Martin Luther King Jr. had a sister like you know when the information is out there and you still don't you still don't research or look for it there's nobody to blame but yourself you know what I'm saying it's you know either either, either if you want to know you gonna find out 
you know what I'm saying I've me myself I've always been a curious kid or a kid that wanted to know things you know wanted to ha know information and this that and the third you know like before you know like you know the fact that I was 15 and I knew who she was when I first seen her you know what I'm saying so you can't say oh you grown and you didn't know if you grown and didn't know it's because you didn't want to know you didn't do no research I, I knew these things when I was a kid I don't know if it's primarily because I'm here from Atlanta or just the fact that I you know wanted to know you know what I'm saying because that's what I guess that's what interests me the most because knowing that Dr. King was from Atlanta he was born in Atlanta Georgia so knowing that he was born here in Atlanta the same city I was born in I guess that's what captivated me to him and also knowing that he was a Capricorn just like I'm a Capricorn so those were the things that captivated me to MLK Jr. and wanting to know more about him and his family in this deck and the third so that's that's what I think held my captivation most definitely for the King family and wanting to know more and it's crazy because I didn't see their house I didn't see his birth home until the year 2016 you know after you know living in Atlanta my whole life I didn't go to the King Center or see his birth home until that year in 2016 because you know now didn't have you know quote unquote time to you know in beforehand and you know it's 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 all it's all a trip you know what I'm saying and you know rest in peace once again Dr. Ferris we appreciate your life and everything that you did in it you know most definitely straight up now with that being said you know saying if you got any thoughts you know about you know the King family or or Dr. Ferris or even MLK you know saying feel free to comment below and you know some of y'all may not have known that he had a sister and a brother as well I mean I, mean, I don't know so you know if you did know you did know if you didn't know you didn't know but you know now you know you feel me now you know so with that being said ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is time for the shout out shout out shout out shout out hey 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 shout out shout out hey 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 it's time for the shout outs baby it's time for the shout outs baby <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, first and foremost, I know I was saying I was gonna do that screenshot for my um my folk blue monster, but I'm about to take a picture right now. I'm about to take a picture right now, hold on. I'm about to take a picture right now. Well, hopefully I can flip it. I hope I can flip it because I want the words to be right on that thing. So here we go. So I hope I can flip it. Uh, oh, never mind. It's already flipped. Cool. Never mind. Oh, never mind. It's already flipped. Hey, that part. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway. Um. All right, y'all. Let's see. Uh, yesterday. Well, no, that was the day before yesterday. I dropped. Uh, you know the. Uh, short that I dig of Jelly Bean Dream issue number one. I'll be dropping another short soon too, y'all. So hey, we'll be on the lookout, man. We're trying to get it out here, baby. Trying to get it out here. Yo, what's up? You feel me? Trying to get it out here. In the regular comment sections for day 12, 13, we got Latanya Porter say, Hey bro, bro. What's up, sis? Mwah. My girl, Miss Just Chrissy, the most awesome Chrissy I know. Miss Just Chrissy said, catching the replay, I will be hitting you up later. Hey, that part, I see you, I see you though. And, um, wow, yummy, wow, yummy. First time here, joined, um, joined, uh, YouTube, um, back on February the 27th. Very interesting day for me because, you know, that was my almost death date in 2020 February 27th 2022 um, has currently 66,101 views that's not bad at all and currently has 1.92 K subscribers almost at 2,000 subscribers um, while wow, yummy came um, and dropped a like guys uh, or dropped a comment and say a like with five thumbs up two 100 emojis a boom a heart a boom a heart a boom i appreciate you wow yummy and i'm about to say um uh shout it you out on day 
twelve fourteen. Uh, that part. So, um, let's see. Why yummy? Let me see. I think did I see a um in a box? Let me see if they got no. They don't have. They don't have um any description in their um, info section but they are from Germany it shows in the, they in the world that they are from Germany and they currently have 54 videos shout out to them they have 54 videos currently their latest video was dropped uh, four months ago uh, five minutes four ingredients super creamy coffee ice cream recipe wow yummy <laughs> that part so shout out to Wild Yummy for sliding through. And uh in the live chat for yesterday, in the live chat we got in the building. We had Australia Garcia in the building. The life of Sweet Angel Christina was in the house. Latanya Porter Big Sis was in the building. And boom, that was it. I appreciate y'all for showing up and showing out. You know what I'm saying? On this here Friday, Friday, meantime, between times. I'm gone, y'all. Stay blessed up. Continue to live life till you die. I'm about to go ahead and finish watching this uh last episode of season one of Blood Hounds. Um, a trippy show right here for show me and I'm gone y'all stay blessed up continue to live life till you die manifest greatness on every level and recognize the greatness within night video playlist watch them all right one love